Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Okay, so this is the last program in Chapter 5, and it's Rock, Paper, Scissors game. Alright, so write a program that lets the user play the game of Rock, Paper, Scissors uh, against the computer. The program should work as follows. When the program begins, a random number in the range of 1 through 6 is generated. If the number is 1, then the computer has chosen Rock. If the number is 2, then the computer has chosen Paper. If the number is 3, then the computer has chosen scissors. Don't display the computer's choice yet. The user enters his or her choice of rock, paper, or scissors at the keyboard. The, computer ch the computer's choice is displayed, right? Um, a winner is selected according to the following rules. Now, if one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors, then rock wins. The rock smashes the scissors. If one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses paper, then scissor scissors wins. Scissors cats paper. If one player chooses paper and the other player chooses rock, then paper wins. Paper wraps rocks. If both players make the same choice, the game must be played again to determine the winner. Okay, and so we're going to create a game using functions and to create uh um, yeah, we're going to create the rock, paper, scissors game. Alright, so let, let's start let's let's try to break it down and, and do it. Alright, so write a program that lets the user play the game. Okay. So when the program begins, a random number in the range of 1 through 3 is generated, right? So, so we know we are going to need a random module, right? So let's do that. Let's import random module this way. All right. When the program begins, a random number in the range of 1 through 3 is generated. And so since chapter 5 is all about functions, let's create a function that's going to generate a random number in the range of 1 through 3. And so I'm going to define a function, and let's call it generate random number now generate random number is not going to accept any argument so I'm, I'm not going to define any parameters all it's going to do is it's going to generate a random number in the range of 1 through 3 and so I will do that I'll call use a random module as I'm saying in the random module generate a random or integer rand int sorry random rand int in the range of starting from 1 all the way to 3 and this will generate a random number from three, well, 1 to 3. 3 is included, and so you will get 3 as a number, as, as a possible random number, okay? 3 is going, to, is going to, is included here. And so once, that is going to generate a random number, and I'm going to store it in a variable called random number here. Once I have that value, all I want to do is return it, return that number. Okay, so now we are done with the generate random number function. All right, so if the number is 1, then the computer has chosen rock. If the number is 2, then the computer has chosen, well, let's see. I think I, I, think I skipped it. Uh, let's see. Okay, so now I'm right here. I'm right there. If the number is 1, then the computer has chosen rock. If the number is 2, then the computer has chosen paper. If the number is 3, then the computer has chosen scissors. All right, so this is telling us basically how the computer's choice is made, right? So let's define another function that's going to use a random number that was generated to determine what the computer computer's choice is. And so let's create a function called deter, um, uh, get computer choice. Get computer choice. And the computer's choice is going to be based off on a random number. So I'm going to define a parameter called random number. It doesn't matter if these have the same name. These are uh, the scope of the variable. The scope of these variables are within the the, the functions, in the individual functions. And so, the random number here, the scope of this random number here is within the get computer choice function, and the scope of this random number here is within the re re generate random number function. And so, based on the random number, the computer choice is made. And so, let's have an if statement in the get computer in the get computer choice function and say that if the random number is equal to now I'm going to use double equals to compare it's important to use double equals to compare if you use one equal sign you're assigning and you're, you're using double equal sign to compare to see to say if what's on the right is the same as what's on the left and so the, the question said um, if the number is three then the computer has chosen scissors and so let's say if the run if the random number is, is exactly equal to I mean it's equivalent to three right then let's create a variable called computer choice is equal to the string scissors. Okay. 
Now let's have an LF, which is really an else if um, statement in, in programming language, in many, many programming languages. All right, so L if, right, or else if, the random number is equal to, it's said over here. Um, if the number is two, then the computer has chosen paper. All right, so let's just make a copy of this. Now if the random number is two, then the computer choice is, or is it? Um, sorry, I missed it. Yeah, if the number is two, then the computer has chosen paper. All right, so let's set it to paper over here. And then let's have an LF. Actually, not an LF because it's, it, we're only dealing with three things, so we can have an else, else, right? Actually, no, let's, let, let's have an LF. You know what? We, we can either have an LF or we can have an else. It doesn't matter. <coughs> you can have an LF, right? Or, or an else. Actually, let, let's do that. It's, it, let's have an LF because it says over here, if the number is three, then the computer has chosen scissors. Um, hold on. All right, so if the number is one over here, then the computer has chosen rock. If the number is two, then the computer has chosen paper. If the number is three, then the computer has chosen scissors. All right, so let, let, let's, let's just keep in order. If it's one, then the, the computer has chosen rock, right? If it's two, then the computer has chosen paper. And L, if the random number is three, I think I missed it when I was reading it. is three, right? Then the computer choice is, hold on one second here. Yeah, that's fine, I'm fine, that's good. Then the computer choice is going to be called to the string scissors. I think I, ha I got it right. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so if the number is three, then the computer has chosen scissors. Let's make sure that it looks right. One, two. Okay, and so this is basically going to get the computer choice. And once we have that, let's go ahead and return the computer choice this way. And so this function here is going to get the computer choice. Okay, so now let's continue reading. Now you can have an else here, it doesn't matter, because if it's not one, if it's not two, then it's something else, right? It, then it's, it's, it's either three, because the, the numbers can only be one, two, or two, and three. And so if it's not one, if it's not two, then it's three. So you can have an else here, and then you can set it to Caesars, right? Because if it's not one, if it's not two, then it's something else. And so else, then set it to Caesars. But LF is just being specific. Okay. So let's move on. It says, don't display the computer's choice yet, right? It says the user enters his or her choice of rock, paper, or scissors at the keyboard. And so we need to ask the, ask the user to type in their choice. And so let's define a function for that, let's call it get user choice. And get user choice is not going to accept any argument, so I'm not going to define any parameters. So all we're going to do is use the input function to ask the user. Right, I'll just say, please enter your choice. Um, yeah, please enter your choice. And the input function basically displays this message to the user and allows the, allow, and, 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 and it basically pops up some kind of text box and allows the user to type in something, right? And whatever the user types is returned as a string. And so I'm going to store whatever is being returned in a variable called user choice here. And once I have the user choice, I'm going to return it, return the user choice. So this, this function is going to take care of the user, user choice for us. It's going to ask the user and return the user's choice to us, to, our, to whatever statement that call this function or to whoever called this function. All right, so after the user's choice, so it says the user enter, um, enters his or her choice. So after, ask, after the user's choice, now the, now the computer's choice is displayed and a winner is selected according to the following rules. And so let's define a function to basically determine the winner. Determine, let's let's call it let's define a function to determine winner um, and it says over here it says according to the following rules if one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors then then the rock wins if one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses paper okay so it's we are we are determining the winner based on the choices of 
of the of a, of a computer and then the user right and so let's define a parameter in the de determine winner function and let's let's de de uh, basically create parameters and the parameters are going to be the based on the user user user's choice and based on the computer's choice determine the winner right so we have we have we we'll have we can we can det we can get the user's choice by calling the get user choice and we can get the computer choice by calling the get computer choice here and so based on those two choices determine the winner right so we, we need to have an if statement uh, basically we, we need to find a way based on these rules we need to determine the winner right it says if one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors then rock wins it's possible now it didn't say if it said if one player it didn't say if one 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 specific player it said if one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors then rock wins so that means it's possible that the computer can choose player uh, can, can choose rock and the player can choose scissors it's also possible that 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 the user can choose rock and the computer can choose scissors same thing with this if one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses pa paper it's possible the computer can choose uh, scissors and then the user can choose paper it's also possible that the user can choose scissors and the computer can choose paper and so this that's how we're going to basically you know write this so let's start with the first one if one player chooses rock and the other player chooses scissors then rock wins let's start with a case where the computer computer chooses rock and, and then the user chooses scissors um scissors let's start with that where the computer chooses rock and the user chooses scissors all right so if right the computer well actually let's flip this it doesn't really matter but let's flip this just I just let's flip this because the computer played first so <laughs> doesn't really matter let's just flip it computer choice first use user choice it's still the same thing based on the based on the two choices all right so if the computer choice is exactly I mean equivalent to rock the string rock right so that means if the computer if the user but well, if the computer chose this right and right, if one player chooses rock, we are starting with the case where the computer chose rock and the user chose scissors. If one player chooses rock and the user chooses scissors, right, and the user choice is equal to scissors, right? Um, let's see. Yeah, and the user chooses scissors. Then what we want to do is we want then the winner right now is going to well first of all as you can see there are messages after each of them right and so let's before anything at all let's create let's have defaults let's have variables to store these messages in them in them right just so just so we can use them and so let's create a variable called rock message rock message let's set it equal to this rock message the rock smashes the scissors the rock smashes the scissors and then let's set let's see, scissors cuts scissors, scissors cuts paper that's going to be the scissor message oops i forgot the double quotations around that the first message okay and then let's have the last one which is the paper message as paper wraps rock so paper message is going to be called to oops in double quotation so we have the messages here just in case we want to use them right let's close this up all right and so if computer if the computer choice is equal to rock and the user choice is equal to scissors then first of all let's set the message well 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 um does it really matter um let's okay first of all we want to determine the winner if this if this is the case right and so in that case it says the rock smashes the scissors that means the it says then then the rock wins, which means the the rock the rock is the winner. Whoever chose the rock is the winner, and so in that case, let's have a variable called winner here. Let's have a variable called winner here, and let's set it to the string computer, right? Because the computer chose rock, and so in that case, the winner is going to be the computer, right? And also let's set the message to be called to the rock message because it said rock smashes the scissors. That's that's the case, and so let's set it to rock message. Okay. Now this is when the computer chooses chose rock and the user chose scissors. It's possible the user can choose rock and the computer um, and the computer can choose scissors, right? So let's have an else statement and basically have the same thing here. Else, then actually not not else. Lf. I'm sorry. Lf. 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 
Okay, else if, all right, so if the rock, uh, if the user, if the, if the computer, ch computer chose the rock, right, and the user ch chose scissors, then this is the computer one, and the message is rock message. L if, right, the other way around, L if, the user choice, so I'm just going to paste it. Else if, else, actually, hold on, we can, we can, we can flip it. I think I'm, I'm speeding up too much. If the computer chose a rock, <laughs> right, and then the user chose scissors, then the, the computer won, okay? And the message is rock message. L if the computer chose scissors, so we can just change this, and then the user chose rock, right? Then the winner this time around is not the computer, but then the string user. Actually, let's just say you, yeah, the winner is you. Message is still rock message. Okay, this is the case when either user, like, in, like any of the users, choose rock, um, like the users choose rock and, and scissors. I, any of them. If it's if the if it's the computer rock user scissors or the computer scissors user rock. This 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 if statement here is going to handle that. All right, now let's have let's go to the second one. If one player chooses scissors and the other player chooses paper, then the scissors scissors wins. So it's possible the computer can choose scissors and then the user can choose paper. It's also possible the user can choose scissors and then the computer can choose paper, right? So let's handle that. I'm going to make it's going to be very similar to this with the values changes. I'm going to make a copy of this if statement, paste it here. Well, let's just um, all right. So if the let's start with when the computer choo chooses scissors and then the user chooses paper so if the computer chose scissors and the user chooses paper then the winner is going to be who well in that case then the winner is uh, so whoever chose the scissors wins and the, the message is scissors, scissors cats paper and so the winner is going to be the computer whoever chose let's, whoever chose the scissors and the message is going to be scissor message. The other way around, if the computer chose paper and the user chose scissors, right? Yeah, and the, and the user chose scissors, then the winner is whoever chose scissors, which is user, the user, right? So you, sorry, you. And then the message is going to be scissor message. So it's the same in, uh, instance, but it's possible the computer can choose the scissors and the user can choose paper. It, or the other way around, it's possible the user can choose uh, scissors and the computer can choose paper. And so we want to determine the winner that way and set the message, the right message. Actually, scissor message here. All right. So this is a case where um, the use the two two uh, the computer and the user, you know, any of them choose scissors and, and paper, like you know, or vice versa.